And the world was excited, uh, well, over a week ago when Mechzilla eventually uh, gave the rocket booster a warm embrace and caught it in that sense. And that marked a, a major milestone for space travel. I mean, you maybe in a few years can travel to space without being an astronaut, right? So it's a big deal. And a lot of people are saying, wow, kudos, Elon Musk, kudos, SpaceX. What about Nigeria? And yes, what about Nigeria? Well, today on the show, we have two amazing young Nigerians who have developed a, a rover prototype. Oh, yes, that can actually explore Mars in the coming years. We're joined on the program, as you can see, by Samuel Oyefusi, a space innovator and mechanical engineering student, Pan Atlantic University. And right next to him, Ibu Kwan Falabi, space innovator as well, also mechanical engineering student, Pan Atlantic University. Innovators, welcome to the morning brief. Thank you very much. Very much. <laughs> First, what do you call this um, this rover here? Prototype. What's the name? Trailblazer. Trailblazer. Yeah. Um, so there are a lot of people who are like uh, a lot of innovations happen outside the country. Mm -hmm. We were just stuck trying to pay for petrol <laughs> and also through mm -hmm. you know, the challenges of life. So when uh, you reached out about this project, we're like, wow. This is uh -huh. great, and this uh -huh. is one of several happening in the country. Uh -huh. So maybe you could give us a backstory. Why this, amidst you know all of the other extenuating challenges, why did you decide to develop a rover prototype? What does it do, and all of that? So I'll, I'll be good with both of you. Whoever wants to go first, go first. Me, I'm excited about this. So <laughs> you guys just <laughs> take it away. All right. So um, basically, the space industry in Africa is actually not doing so much. And you notice a lot of innovations are uh, currently undergoing in, in the Western world. Yeah. And um, basically, uh, if you look at Nigeria, for example, I never knew about our satellites. Like, I didn't know about what's going on, like, in the mm -hmm. space industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm um, like, um, how many satellites do we have? So you know, what much. are we doing in the space sector? And I felt like I actually wanted to study aerospace engineering, but I was limited. So and the uh, closest course to do to study that was me mechanical engineering and yeah. you know we actually talk about a lot of things and we try to see how we can contribute to the space industry. So um, you know looking at Nigeria for example, we, I think there's a lot of things we need to do even in terms of security, in terms of you know you know agriculture, the food security, in terms of you know weather forecasting. Mm -hmm. You know having so much investment in this space industry really like you know help us solve a lot of problems we're facing in Nigeria. So you know we actually signed up for a competition and uh, we we're lucky we were able to ace the first stage. We came second, you know, mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was really, really exciting because mm -hmm. we, we faced a lot of challenges trying to, like, mm -hmm. you know, outsource for funds and trying to see how we can, you know, work together as a team. We're actually a team of 14 in school. Mm -hmm. So we reached out to a lot of people trying to see how we can develop something from scratch, not copy what NASA is doing. So NASA has developed different Mars rovers. So we have the Perseverance rover, the Curiosity, Curiosity rover. Mm -hmm. So we said we have to develop something unique that's it's Nigerian made. And we developed something that we can actually use, you know, to actually show people that Nigeria got talent. And um, looking at this, this rover, it's actually the first, you know, African rover in, in Africa built in Nigeria. And if you, you can see that's a lot of sensors, a lot of cameras, a lot of you know, you know, camera integrations, and we believe this would really push, um, you know, our government to see that this there's, there's, a, there's an innovation, and there's a lot of things we need to do to address mm. some of you know the the, the problems mm -hmm. we're facing in Nigeria. And I believe this innovation and this you know thing we're trying to do today would really you know showcase our talents, and also not just about that, just show that Africans we have a stand, you know, to stand. In the world, and because uh, even from my interactions, you know, globally, I tried developing a project with for NASA. It was a competition, and you would have actually got denied because I was in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So, and um, I, I, after so much work, it was we were meant to build uh, a CTB, a cargo transfer bag. So I reached out to the director, and the, the, the director of NASA program. So I told her that I really wanted to see how I can really contribute. And but then she said that um, we actually don't have any form of collaboration with Nigeria. Wow. And that saddens my heart. But I'm really grateful that there's a lot of developments with this uh, new administration. Um, I see the new the, the niche comes at the you know the, the and also the Ministry of you know mm -hmm. of Innovation, Digital Communication and Digital Economy. 
Dr. Bosuti Jani is really looking at, you mm -hmm. know, trying to see how we can actually push Nigeria forward. Right. You know, from my interaction with her, I see that uh, we are trying to see how we can maybe get more awareness because people don't even know we have a satellite in Nigeria. Yeah. We don't know we have, you know, we have we have we have systems, but the thing is, you know, when when we start doing something, we just abandon it. So there's a lot of things we need to do to actually, you know showcase our work and not even showcasing our work to protect our country as well, our intellectual property. You know, there's a lot of hours of work and um, I'll just hand over to Ibokun to just talk Oh, more. yes. Yeah, yeah. With this. All right, thank you very much, Samuel. Samuel has said so much about it, so I'm just going to talk about the mechanics and everything Please about do. it. And don't lose us in the process. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I'll try to keep, keep calm. So, yeah, we can see the show are Mars Rover, and we tried to do something unique, um, not um, copying NASA or doing something that has been done. That's why we gave it show blazer, some, doing something very Trail unique and, fat and fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, it uses the um, rocker boogie suspension mechanism mixed with the damping system so that is like the first um, brain behind it and also it does like say that again so you don't lose <laughs> <laughs> wow. well, in fact you said the rock boogie yes. what, what does that mean by um, that's the suspension um, system integrated in rovers like the perseverance the curiosity they have this in their system to like drive over difficult terrain the terrain is usually yes. it's that not a tired road that's like right. the shock absorber in my yes, car yes 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 so mixing that the shock absorber in your car with the um, rocker boogie suspension mechanism that's what we kept in this and also it has like a rocket but we've not kept the rocket for in it um, so our idea behind it is it's able to like um, launch to a substantial altitude and like once it comes down it brings out the Nigerian flag and it, with a parachute but then the idea the brain behind it is like to show that we can like launch um, payloads into orbit um, satellites from rovers. So this is a unique idea, yeah. something different. And also it has like test tubes. There's a scoop right in front of it there where you can like scoop samples and like put it in the test tubes where you can also like um, do tests on them and also an emergency shutdown button where you can like shut in case of fire emergency or any electrical damage in it. And also like a storage unit so where you can like put um, remote controls, things you get around like the astronauts missions and all and also there's a camera right in front of it there um, where you can like get a 360 degree view of your surroundings and also an uh, as cam right there below it where you can also like detect if you need to like do a bit of test on rock samples you can do that also and also we integrated the docking um, mechanism, but the docking station we've not developed it yet. Right. We've focused so much on this, yeah. but we kept it in the future plans. So that's the docking port. It's able to like um, dock to a docking station and then recharge um, through solar panels. So that's like a form of sustainability towards our project. Brilliant. Yeah. We need to see how this works at least. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's going to be you or Samuel. You can move it to our own oh. testing ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sort behind there. Uh, so we can just see how this works. But this is quite brilliant. And you mm -hmm. talk about the so Samuel, do you want to take it or you yeah, who wants, who wants uh, to move it, Samuel? Yeah, <laughs> and, and just as you do that, I, I'm curious about the camera inside the um, machine. Mm. What, what are the functions of the of the camera? The cam what, what what feedback do you hope it will bring to you if you deploy it to space or underground? Um, we hope to get like. Um, rock samples, take pictures of them, because we developed a website where we can like um, analyze systems, mm -hmm. analyze rock samples, soil samples, and then, because there's, uh, you just have to connect it to your system. Uh, I think I'll start. Okay, by the way, we're starting off the uh, the rover prototype. So, um, Samuel, you have to stand bus beside him so okay. we can see the camera there. Uh, sure. Okay. And so these are like the antennas and uh, they will keep like camera. lights, you know. And these scoops um, samples. Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you were talking about what the uh, the camera does. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is Trailblazer. Mm -hmm. That's what you call it. And yeah. uh, we have Samuel <laughs> and Ivoku here. They're about mm -hmm. to walk us through. They created a, a, a rover prototype. So First in Africa, Kairi. Uh, made in Nigeria. Made in Nigeria. Yeah. Say, that, say that again. How, how did you say that earlier? First in Africa, yeah. made in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Are you saying that this is the first rover prototype developed mm -hmm. in Africa? 
um, in, in Nigeria, Nigeria. Yeah. right so this is first of its kind mm. right here in Nigeria yeah. like how much did it cost to do this I'm just curious because <laughs> you had to build this from the scratch I can mm. see yeah. uh, what materials are these so this is acrylic and galvanized aluminum sheets, right. a few pipes um, using um, um, electric glues, different offshore yeah. components, just combining. Just put it together. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And recyclable materials as well. Mm -hmm. We have plastics. We, mm -hmm. we have um, some. This is this, this, this is a 3D printer made of plastics. Yeah. We have uh -huh. some pipes. PLE. You know, also, you printed this yeah, with printed 3D yourself yeah, from yeah. scratch. Yeah. Then we also like got some some plastics as well. For some, you see some buttons. Yeah. Then we mm -hmm. got some iron. We folded. We did some soldering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a lot of work. <laughs> so, so the next <laughs> phase for you, pardon me, the next phase for you. So you are you're continuing. In that uh, competition. Yeah. Uh, so, what kind of support do you need? Because I, we, we need to, yes, we have challenges in mm. the economy and all, but yeah. we need to support <laughs> yeah. the great ones Definitely. that we have in our midst. Yeah, so to be, to be really um, fair, to, we actually need a lot of awareness, trying to raise awareness in STEM mm -hmm. and trying to also try to create like um, funding opportunities for, mm -hmm. for this as well because we actually reach out to a lot of sponsors, a lot of um, organizations that could help us sponsor, but they said the economy is eating them. But, but there, I, can, I can tell you there are those who want to support this, mm -hmm. definitely, because this means a lot. And, and I'm looking at the applications. First, what this will do to the average young Nigerian mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. and what what the application can be like for other things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you trying to raise funds for this, or? Yeah, we actually opened this for sure. <laughs> we need actually a lot of money because we we, we, want, we want to go to Africa, and we, we actually don't really have enough to um, get our tickets. So we, we actually opened to different organizations that can mm. help mm. partner with us and make this better yeah. and greater for Nigeria. So if Nick comes out, we're to partner with you to push this, for instance, what would that partnership look like? Um, if it's, if, if, for, for example, we would need um, a lot of sort of um, visibility mm -hmm. and apart from that um, also like um, some support for our transportation and logistics mm -hmm. to South Africa because we are actually going to simulate this in a Mars environmental okay. and red soil mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. up in Johannesburg in yeah. River Sand mm -hmm. so we've already reached out to the organizers they're expecting us but um, and I've actually tried to reach out to the Eagle Center as well, so mm. it's ongoing. Don't worry. So they're listening they're right now. now. But I want you to do this quickly uh, because okay. we have to anchor. Yeah. I need this to go to Bukola. Take a sample. Uh, why not, Gaia? <laughs> <laughs> Analyze the sample. Okay. So this so is come, Trailblazer come, 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 come. Uh, discovering Mars. Come, and come. she's even red, and you know, the, <laughs> the sun in Mars is red. Oh. <laughs> It met an obstruction. Yeah. So did I move? So it's actually climbing her shoes right there. <laughs> fantastic. So he has a scooper, then he takes yeah. the sample. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, fantastic. And I was going to ask, all, some of the materials, are they imported or everything is locally sourced? Locally, locally sourced. sourced. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank so it you. speaks to our potential, right? Yes. Guys, yeah. I can go on and on with this. It's not just a toy. This means a lot uh, for uh, STEM in Nigeria and the applications, I imagine, are endless. So it's important to support our own. Yes, let's talk about about Elon Musk and SpaceX, but we also should talk about trailblazers. Mm -hmm. We've been speaking with Samuel Loyefus, a space innovator, mechanical mm -hmm. engineering student, Pan Atlantic University, and Ibukun mm -hmm. uh, Afolabi, also space innovator, mm -hmm. uh, mechanical engineering student. You are two of a team of 17. Mm -hmm. 14. 14, rather. 14. Yeah. 14. Thank you for the great work, and we look forward to seeing you do greater stuff. Thank, Thank you. you so much. this came Thank to you. Mars Bukola. I'm interested in the feedback from your camera. Well, there you have it. We have to anchor at this point. It's been an interesting conversation. Yeah. We'll play with this <laughs> after the show. <laughs> so make sure to have a great day. I'm Kaya Deokikilu. It's a perfect morning starter, and we're just starting the week. So join us again from tomorrow when we bring you another interesting edition. Speaking of which, Sunrise Daily is up next, so stay with Channels Television. I am Bukola Koka.